Hi, this is Jim, the IOTESA guy. Welcome back to the channel. Since the button came out for full self-driving beta, I have been trying to get my safety score to 100%. I had it there for a while, and unfortunately, I had a forward collision warning on a 25 mile per hour road that dinged me back to 97, and I've been trekking back to 100 ever since, and I was able to get back to 100 late Monday night, where today is Thursday. And 24 hours passed, and then on Tuesday night, overnight, I got the email, and I got the download, and yesterday, which is Wednesday, I took it for my first drive, and I took it for my first drive on my way to work, and I want to share with you my basically full self-driving beta unboxing in my car and my first drive and how well it worked. And um, I was impressed. That's, I guess, the short answer. But here's the longer answer. signaling and we're coming up to a right turn. I'm kind of in a rural area, so this part of the journey um, doesn't have any lane markers and there'll be some people that have said that it took a long time to do that. Man, it is aggressive in the turns and getting up to speed. Um, the reports are absolutely true. So it is driving on the right side of the road. A lot of people are saying that it tried to basically hug the center. Now it's kind of getting over to the center a little bit. Um, there still appears to be a nag, uh, which is that I have to put some pressure on the wheel to say that I am in control. I, I'm not driving, I kind of have my hands at the ready. Um, I don't exactly know what to expect because we're going to be coming up here to a, an intersection that gets us on to a 55 mile an hour bypass. In 500 feet, turn right onto Marion Bypass. Not sure if it's going to stay in the new self-driving or if it will uh, no, switch over right to highway self-driving. See the visualization. Man, there's a lot of new data here. Come to a stop. It looks like it's, nope, it's hesitating because we got cars coming. Tap the accelerator to go and it's going. And it looks like we're still in full self-driving. We're gonna see if it gets over here. left turn coming up here. We have uh, traffic that's going 55 miles an hour in the opposite direction and we'll see what it does here. We may need to take over. This is a bit of a tight stop and oh it's not actually going to turn left here. It's going to go down to the next intersection. This is not the direction that I would go but I suppose it's okay. Ag does happen more frequently um, than traditional autopilot, but I think that's kind of to be expected because the car is doing a heck of a lot more now than in just the standard autopilot. So we've got a left turn coming up here and it's cross traffic 55 miles. We are slowing down and we'll see if we get over into this lane. Perfect. Now we've got some, a car in front of us, and we've got some oncoming traffic. It's hesitating. And it is going. Kind of cut that a little tight for that car that was hanging out there, but it did it. And now we're driving up the road be making a hard right turn and this is a, a kind of a strange right turn because it, it goes into a, a drop off hill pretty um, a short drop off hill that goes uh, pretty right after the turn so there's not a lot of great visibility so I guess we'll see what happens 
Um, it's doing a good job uh, with the speed limits. Um, I haven't had to adjust the speed. I have it set to just go feet, the speed limit. Right on to I think Street. it's the, the safest way to go at this point, especially for my first drive. than I would do it, but it was confident. Okay. See some visualizations of different trucks and vehicles that are on the side of the road. This is much more reverse than anything that has been displayed in the past. It's pretty amazing, actually. like we're going to come up here and it's going to end our autopilot uh, before come and goes actually over here to the left so it's not actually going to take us in um, so it's going to stop up here so we're going to have to then drive in manually but looks like it's going to make it first drive in 1,000 feet in Iowa destination will be on the for left. a very short very short two mile trip uh, zero disengagements I have to say that that was generally successful not perfect but successful all right we are back uh have my morning caffeine now we're going to be headed to work not sure how this is going to work it's mostly in town driving and uh i'm in the parking lot of the come and go convenience store for those of you that don't know what come and go is very iowa we're gonna, oh, we're gonna say work Turn on autopilot and see if it gets us out of here. And it does. A little jerky. And um, not too much excitement here. We have a bus that stopped in front of us, flashing lights. We'll see if it just kind of hangs out here or if it's going to maybe try and go around. Looks like it's going to try and go around. Holy cow. Wow, I cut that corner close. So we're through an intersection. I have to admit, it is nice not having to acknowledge green lights. Uh, I had the normal felt full self-driving, and now with this, it's just going right through green lights. It's got a right turn coming up here, but I got some traffic on the right. Is it gonna, it looks like it's backing off a little bit. Other car speeding up. We have another car behind us. It's going to have to get over. Signaling to get over. And it is getting over. Right on to 44th Street. A lot of people complain about that. It actually stays at the very left side of the lane until it gets to the turn. There was actually a spot on the right that it probably should have been in to try to make that turn because you naturally want to get over on that side of the road when you're making a right turn, but it doesn't. In 500 feet, you will arrive at I your fully destination. expect that this will... Uh, take care of itself over time and it will learn and then look we made it to work now again another short trip your destination first drive zero disengagements man that was cool oh i'm 50 years old i never thought i would have an actual car that i owned that drove itself <laughs> oh feel like a kid again that was cool <laughs> that was amazing um was it perfect no was it better than my teenage kids when they were first starting to drive yes it was better in Iowa it at least where I am in Iowa it seemed to navigate the roads it didn't um didn't take the route that I would take and that's common and it was aggressive at times more aggressive than i would be 
It was hes hesitant at times. Again, very much like a little slightly unpredictable teenager driving your car, but it drove it, it followed the rules, it got the job done. I don't think it was being unsafe at any time, but wow. Um, for my first drive to work, uh, cold, you're seeing it for the first time. Um, I know there's a lot of these videos, but um, I haven't seen a lot of videos posted about Midwest driving or especially driving specifically in Iowa because I know there probably hasn't been a lot of um, FSD beta drivers in Iowa, so wasn't sure how well the training would go, but good job, Tesla. I am looking forward to playing around with this even more and seeing this advance over time. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <sighs> <laughs> if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe. Um, till the next drive, until the next video, till the next tip, till the next review. Catch you later.